Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the hexadecimal numbering system as it relates to uh, PC computers and it's going to be a part of our hardware uh, 1.0 uh, series. So let's get started. Objectives, we're going to understand the hexadecimal numbering system as it relates to the PC computer. We're going to be able to convert a hexadecimal to binary and decimal and binary and decimal to hexadecimal. So we're going to be able to go back and forth with hexadecimal to the binary and decimal and from the binary and decimal back to hexadecimal. Uh, this is a, a screenshot uh, of uh, resources for a Linksys uh, wireless card. If you notice, there's two resources that are assigned to this uh, card, and it's IRQ19, and there's a memory range. And this memory range shows two 8-bit hexadecimal numbers. Now we're going to find out that hexadecimal number represents four binary bits. And really, it's nothing more than just a shorthand or an easy way to write very large binary numbers. And we'll show you how that's done. Uh, first of all, a hexadecimal numbering system is a base 16 numbering system. You don't see the zero here, but we always count it. And so 0 to 15 equals 16. So it's a base 16 numbering system, and the numbers range from 1 to 15, but they're all represented with a single character. So an F represents 15, so we have two characters, one five, but it's represented with just a single character F. So we start with 10 going through 15. In the decimal, it's two characters, but in the hexadecimal, it's one. So this helps uh, in writing uh, hexadecimal numbers very quickly because we can save some strokes. So what is an F? An F is a 15. Now, hexadecimal to binary. What is nice about the hexadecimal? Again, it's a shorthand for writing binary numbers, and we write uh, one hexadecimal character for every four binary numbers. So again, the 15 is uh, what? It's 8 and 4 is 12, 2 is 14, and 1 is 15. So we put it's all ones. So that's the largest number for the uh, hexadecimals. Now, we are going to use uh, uh, hexadecimals in only groups of four bits, and it's only going to be in a number range in these four bits of to 15. Even though uh, both of these next to each other, FF, would only represent 15 and 15, if we were to put this or try to convert this to a decimal number, look what happens. Now we have to convert it back to what would be an 8-bit binary and converting that back to decimal, we'd have to bring all these values down, 128, 64, 192, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. We find that the largest decimal number for 8-bit binary is 255. So you can see right away, converting hexadecimal to decimal is going to be a little more difficult because we have to take into account more than just uh, values from 1, uh, 2, 4, and 8, where we've got to go to 16, 32, 64, 128. And within the computer, that just continues on, 256, 512, 1024, and so on. But we're, we're pretty fortunate we only have to deal with uh, just 8 bits, even though the computer oftentimes is handling 32-bit, 64-bit, and even 128-bit numbers at, at a time. So again, in review, a hexadecimal only represents four uh, binary digits. So the hexadecimal for D, let's see, what was the D? If we go back... We can see the D equal 13. So if we plug 13 back in here, 1, 1, 12, we don't, we don't want to use this, uh, the 2, so that's 0, and then 1, that would be 12, and 1 is 13. So our hexadecimal to binary number, 1, 1, 0, 1, but to decimal, it's a 13. So you can see right away, uh, going from hexadecimal to binary, we save three digits. And even going from hexadecimal to decimal, we can save a digit. Now, again, I showed you this screenshot uh, for the memory range of these two 8-bit uh, hexadecimal numbers. Now, if we were not to show this in hexadecimal but in binary, this is what it would look like. This 8-bit hexadecimal number would now appear as a 32-bit binary number. You can see that's just really too many characters. And it's only the first one. We didn't even convert the second one yet. So if we had to convert the second one, we'd have another 32 bits. So hexadecimal is a shorthand for writing large binary numbers. And you're going to see it 
in the computer from time to time. Remember that the largest digit is an F. Oftentimes uh, when you're taking a quiz uh, for A+, they might throw something higher than an F, say a G or an H. Right away you know that that's not going to be a correct answer because the digits only go from 0 to 9 and then A through F. So anything higher than an F is not going to be a hexadecimal number. Uh, that's it uh, for now. Uh, we do have a hexadecimal quiz that I'll be putting on the Computer Repair Training Plus uh, website uh, for you to take. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time.